queue, the push through false shuffle with this brand new deck of rice playing cards. This is great, amazing. Link in description on how to get them, where to get them. And um, yeah, let's get started. So first of all, uh, just show you a quick demonstration. Looks like this. Yeah, like that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna teach you right now how to do it. So basically, what you're gonna the prerequisites of learning this is learning how to do a normal ripple shuffle like this. Now, as the name suggests, the push through, you're going to just try and practice this part first. You're going to shuffle the deck, but you end with the right hand playing cards first. So this is on top of the left hand playing cards. So it looks. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it in with both ring fingers doing the same thing. And once I get to about more than half a deck, about a quarter of the cards like here, you start you're gonna to want to use these two ring fingers to push in towards itself so actually that deck it causes that deck to kind of separate each other and then you're gonna use these two to clean it to clean this but exactly what you're doing is you're basically separating the deck it's really separated it's like pushed through so this is this is the top packet and this with the playing card is the bottom packet so it's important to hide this packet like this plus those uh like holes here those air packets in there so it's best to cover it up so after you cover it up like this you, you're not going to pull with all your fingers you're going to use pressure on your ring and your pinky to pull that packet out so it looks like it's from the bottom so this is from the top obviously you can't do this because it looks obvious so you're going to run through it again riffle right hand packet always on top Oh yeah, by the way, the left hand packet is the top packet and then the right hand is the bottom packet. So yeah, before bring the right hand packet, right hand packet is always on top of the left hand packet, quarter of the deck, push it in, these four fingers, clean it. Now what I would like to do here is a little move like this you refill behind the back and then you do this so it's kind of like a signal that you've cleaned that your deck is already completely in it's just an illusion allowing the illusion in the participant's mind and then you're going to put pressure on the ring finger and the pinky drag this right hand packet out and this is the top packet now i wouldn't suggest to just slam it on top but there are two ways of doing this. One is after you take that packet out, you put this left hand packet in front, then you put the right hand packet here. And now what you're going to do is, your left hand is going to take the bottom packet, which is going to separate. The right hand is going to take the upper packet. So it basically separates like this, like really fast. And then you're going to just, look at this. Left hand packet is going to slam it on top, the right hand so it's like that so while doing these shuffles I like to do what is called as the running cut so it's basically it's easy you just break the packet into four parts as you put the one quarter packet here for the break then continue with the others cut a bit cut a bit and put the rest on top like this so now push through our ghost ones again the left hand is going to take the top half of the packet and bring it towards the left. The right hand with the bottom packet. The left hand is going to riffle first to increase the chance of the right hand packet ending last. So you riffle. Like this ends with the right hand packet. You're going to push it in, alright, about a quarter. And then you're going to 
cross check this and then close here your fingers close then you can do the move then you pull this right hand packet out it's pressure only on the ring and pinky so that it doesn't pull the other cards out so then another variation is to use this right hand packet to hold the deck and then use the left middle finger and thumb to kind of like peel one small packet and then place it on top although it looks kind of like it feels kind of weird but you won't get noticed like I show you in full speed how it looks like wait try again right so this full speed it will look like you're pulling packets from the top and putting it down and you slam it on top it's just simply an illusion offering for the participant after you've done this, the deck is obviously back in order. Mine is really mixed, but it doesn't matter. Alright, we'll go through the whole thing again. So, excuse me. Left hand brings the top packet towards the left. And then your right hand is going to hold the bottom packet. The left hand starts with fling first, then your right hand. So it ends with the right hand going to push it in about a quarter of the deck right here. You're going to use your ring finger to push out jogging like, towards like an X, you know, X-Men, whatever. Then you're going to use this to clean up. And you're not going to show these air pockets discrepancies plus this discrepancy. I mean, obviously you can show like here, but don't show on here for obvious reasons. You can curl your index right here, the right index. So then you're gonna put pressure on ring and pinky to just pull to just pull those weave cards out and just simply do any two of the variation methods. And there, back in order. So running cuts, ball shuffle. yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching please buy some rice playing cards for yourself one for yourself to support rice magic and yeah see you next time